Advent of Code 2024 is here. It's an advent calendar of small programming puzzles starting on December 1st. Every single day you get two problems that you can solve and those problems are of algorithmic nature so you will train your programming skills as well as your problem solving skills and that's super beneficial. In addition, many people use this event as an opportunity to learn some new programming language. So you, if you have been eyeing some programming language which you wanted to try but didn't have a chance to do it yet, this is a perfect opportunity to pick it up and start using it to solve these Advent of Code problems. So let's see how we can prepare for the event start on December 1st. The first thing we need to do is to create an account and log in. So there is a login button, we can click on it, pick any of these login services. I'm using GitHub, so I will click GitHub and this will automatically log me in because I was already participating in the previous uh, year's event. Uh, once, once you're logged in, uh, you are in your user area so you can see all the things like leaderboard stats and you can see also the calendar itself where you can see the countdown to the next problem that will be unlocked. The problems unlock at midnight EST every single day starting December 1st. And at that time, people start solving those problems as fast as possible. And if you want to participate in this friendly competition, there is a leaderboard for that. And the first 100 people who are able to correctly solve each of the two problems that are unlocked each day are getting some points and those points build up the leaderboard. So we can look at the previous year's events and you can see that ultimately uh, people are getting points for how fast they are able to solve the problems and that uh, kind of gives you eternal fame as you are getting points each day. Of course the time when the problems unlock each day is not ideal for uh, all the people around the globe. So you don't have to participate in the global leaderboard is just there as a motivation factor but you can still uh, make a friendly competition with your friends if you create your private leaderboard and this private leaderboard allows you to kind of get points in a smaller group of people who are maybe located in the same time zone as you are. The next thing you should definitely do is to prepare your programming environment and verify everything is working and a good way to do it is to go to an earlier event, for example 2018, select one of the first problems because those are usually the easiest, uh, read the description, get the puzzle input which you get by clicking here, you get a file, basically a text file of the input that the problem expects and then try to solve it using your programming environment, uh, develop a solution and then output the result of the program here into the answer text field. This uh, answer text field is very short, it seems like a basic text input and it is. Uh, usually the problem input is a multi-line large file that needs to be fed to your program and the output will just be a single number. Usually it's a small number but sometimes it's a very large, uh, large big integer or something like that. Sometimes it can be even a text. But it is not a multi-line thing, so you should expect the result to be a single single uh, line output. And this way you can verify if your programming environment is working and is prepared well for Advent of Code problems. And with that you're ready for Advent of Code 2024. Subscribe to my channel to see me solving the problems in C Sharp starting December 1st and also to see ChatGPT trying to solve the advent of code problems as well. We will see if ChatGPT got better since last year when it was not able to solve most of the problems and if they improved the problem solving skills with ChatGPT 4.0. See you in December.